Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NXT The Game Season 1, Episode 5. I have been cranking these out the last couple days. Like I said before, I'm very excited. I plan on cranking these out for a while, daily, maybe twice a day. I have a lot of free time on my hands, unfortunately, right now. Be that as it may, let's get into Season 1, Episode 5 of NXT. We are just two weeks out. Two shows out, excuse me, of uh, reaching NXT TakeOver Eden. These are the results from the NXT Wrestling Show. Renee Young, welcome everyone tonight to NXT. Tonight we have a pair of tag team matches scheduled for you as William Ringle's ranking to determine who will face the team of Wesley, Blake, and Buddy Murphy at NXT TakeOver Eden are in full force. Tom Phillips, that's right. On top of Enzo and Big Cads versus the Mechanics match that was announced last week, guys. Tonight we are getting Chad Gable and Jason Jordan taking on the team of Johnny Gargano and Tomasa Ciampa. Let's not forget about Rhino returning tonight also, said Corey Graves. The man beast has to be in a bad mood after being eliminated from the NXT Championship contention just a few weeks prior. They started the show next in an extremely short match. Alexa Bliss defeated Carmella in four minutes via pinfall. Colin Cassidy did some good work at ringside with Carmella. However, it was not enough as Alexa, Blake, Alexa Bliss got the victory. Not sure entirely what I'm doing with either one of these women right now, but I know that I want to feature more women on the show, so we'll go with this for now. After having just won the max, Alexa Bliss celebrates over Carmella, mocking her dance and looking at Colin Cassidy before raising her arm to see a, to a sea of booze. Blake and Murphy come down to the ring via the ramp, clapping as we fade to the backstage area. So just a little bit of celebration. Again, as I mentioned before, I really enjoy, um, you know... Winners and losers, clean finishes, and I enjoy people celebrating their wins and their losses. The emotion of professional the emotion of professional wrestling, am I right? The camera finds Tyler Breeze in the back looking in a mirror. Tyler Breeze, Tyler, you are absolutely gorgeous, says Tyler, piercing his lips. Prince Pretty is absolutely looking like something out of a mythical dream right now. You aren't wrong, says a woman's voice off screen. The camera pans up to see Tyler Breeze staring into the gorgeous eyes of one Eva Marie, who runs her hands along the chest of Tyler Breeze. Well, 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 Eva, is it? Asked Tyler. Eva Marie, you know it is sexy. Mmm, gorgeous. You weren't wrong, by the way. I was wondering, or thinking rather, you and I, we could, you know, team up. I think we could be great inside and outside of the ring. Tyler thinks. You... You and me versus the Uggs of the world? It sounds yummy, princess. You had me yet. You weren't wrong, by the way. Tyler grabs the gorgeous hand of Eva Marie and kisses it as it appears a new alliance has been formed. Eva Marie has debuted her bitch gimmick and has gotten an initial 90% rating. Absolutely fantastic. Eva Marie getting a 90 rating for a bitch gimmick? Not surprised. The mechanics of Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson cut a promo backstage, just a generic promo, hyping their match tonight. Nothing spectacular, as you can see they need to work on their, their charisma skills. In an extremely short match, Rhino defeated Mojo Riley, aka the jobber to the stars, via a gore. The announcing was great, that's good news, Rhino looks solid I believe, I mean nothing negative on Rhino, so that's good. Not sure exactly how I'm going to use Rhino going forward. I do have some offers to some other independent free agents right now via one off, via, you know, just strengthening the lower card of the show so I don't have to constantly job out my, my, my focused guys, my main guys. Now it's Enzo and Collins' turn as they cut a backstage promo on the mechanics for their match tonight. 51 rating, D plus, not awful, not great. I'll take it. The camera now shows Bailey in the back talking to Carmella, who's holding her head after being beaten hard by Alexa earlier in the evening. Bailey gives her a hug and a fist bump before leaving. The camera catches Bailey looking a bit concerned not only for Carmella, but for the fact she's still looking for that partner she guaranteed she can come up with as she takes on Dana Brooke and Emma at NXT TakeOver Eden. So Bailey's still on the hunt for a partner. Who will it be? The camera now shifts backstage and lands on Triple H, to which the fans can be heard cheering. The camera then shifts again and lands on Cowboy James Storm, to which the fans blew loudly about. Triple H, look James, Triple H says, I personally decided to bring you in. I understand Finn and Joe. Look, I get it. Those guys are close. You're the outsider here. I get it, I get it. 
You're gonna have to step it up, son. You're gonna have to put your big boy pants on. This isn't your former workplace. We have standards. Storm laughs. This isn't what it's all about, Paul. Triple H straightens up as James breaks the kayfabe third wall for a moment. Look, Hunter, Storm says, course correcting. It's just too bad about Regal. Claims he wants fairness, does nothing when they bail. As I said, deal with it however you see fit. I know Regal wants to run a tight ship built on sportsmanship, and I don't disagree. But men will be men. Feel free to act accordingly. James Storm, in referencing last week's main event, in which he teamed with Finn Balor and Samoa Joe against... Blake and Murphy and Ty Dillinger, and they walked out, leaving James Storm to take the pinfall and absolutely get destroyed by the tag team champions and Ty Dillinger. Next match, in an extremely poor match, Jason Jordan and Chad Gable defeated Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa in 10 minutes when Chad Gable defeated Tommaso Ciampa with a pinfall. Chad Gable again was off his game tonight. We're going to have to have a conversation with that kid. This is the second time he's been off his game in the last few shows. Now we are backstage with Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe, we're just two weeks, two weeks away from me becoming the NXT champion. Two weeks away from another prize being added to my mantle. Two weeks away from Samoa Joe walking out at NXT TakeOver Eden with an NXT championship above my head. I've been waiting for this opportunity since I was brought into NXT. I'm ready. I hope James and Finn are. Simple promo, simple match building. Love it. The cameras now catch Bailey backstage, just scrolling through the contacts on her phone. Poor Bailey cannot find a partner. Whatever will she do? Poor, poor, adorable Bailey. But the fans apparently are loving her. William Regal looks up as his door swings open now. We're backstage again. Walking through the door is a newly minted team of Eva Marie and Tyler Breeze. William Regal. Whatever do I owe the pleasure, Eva? Tyler? Asked Regal. Tyler Breeze. I heard you were handing out matches at NXT TakeOver Eden. I heard you were handing out matches at NXT TakeOver Eden. I want one. William Regal pauses and starts in. Tyler, you need to check your voice more often. I've already put you in a match at TakeOver Eden. You're facing Zack Ryder. Zack Ryder? Really? Looks like Tyler Breeze could possibly actually get a victory on an NXT TakeOver special. He's actually one of my favorite wrestlers in NXT right now, and I'm a little frustrated that he became the job of the stars. However, this is NXT The Game. This is my booking. Tyler... You may not win every match, but you are going to win some matches, sir. So, heading into Eden, an alliance with uh, Eva Marie, you're looking good, sir. Tyler Breeze looks at Regal as Eva Marie has her hands all over Tyler's pretty chest, causing Regal to hold back his facial expressions. Tyler Breeze, sounds wonderful. Thanks, sir, William. Tyler Breeze turns away and Eva grabs and smacks Tyler's ass, causing Regal to finally make the face he was holding back. Regal, animals. I don't have a British accent. But that's how it sounds to me. Imagine Regal saying it, animals. He says as they exit stage left, but damn it if that's not most if that's not most the erotic couple I've ever seen. The fans laugh as we fade. A video plays hyping Finn Balor vs. James Storm vs. Samoa Joe in the main event of NXT TakeOver Eden just two weeks away. Fantastic main event, fuckers. In an extremely poor match, Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy defeated the Mechanics when Colin Cassidy defeated Scott Dawson by pinfall with the big boot. That was not a great main event. Having just picked up the victory, Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy celebrate in the ring to end the show. I'm a big fan of tag team wrestling, everybody. Expect a lot of it. I hope you are, too. This was NXT The Game Season 1, Episode 5. I hope you enjoyed it. We have one more week of NXT followed by NXT TakeOver Eden. We have about three or four matches announced. Expect one or two more done by the end of next week, including the tag team title shot. Thanks for watching, everyone.